The Qur'an, A Complete Revelation Translated and read by Sam Gerrans And know that anything you take as spoils of war, to God belongs its fifth, and to the messenger, and to the relatives, and the fatherless, and the poor, and the wayfarer, if you believe in God, and what we sent down upon our servant on the day of division, the day the two hosts met. And God is powerful over all things. When you were on the near bank, and they were on the far bank, and the caravan was below you, and had you agreed to meet, you would have differed in the appointment. But that God might conclude a matter done, that there might perish he who perished with clear evidence, and that there might live he who lived with clear evidence. Ellipsis. He caused you to meet, to continue. And God is hearing, knowing. When God showed them in thy dream as few, and had he shown them as many, you would have lost heart and quarrelled together over the matter. But God preserved, he knows what is in the breasts. And when he showed them when you met in your eyes as few, and lessened you in their eyes, that God might conclude a matter done, and unto God are matters referred. O you who heed warning, when you meet a company, stand firm and remember God much, that you might be successful, and obey God and his messenger, and quarrel not together lest you lose heart and your spirit leave you. And be patient, God is with the patient. And be not like those who come forth from their dwellings boastfully, and to be seen of men, and forsake the path of God. And God encompasses what they do. And when the shaitan makes their deeds fair to them, and says, None among men can defeat you this day when I am at your side. Then, when the companies come within sight of one another, he turns on his heels and says, I am innocent of you. I see what you see not. I fear God. And God is severe in retribution. When the waverers and those in whose hearts is disease say, Their doctrine has deceived these. But whoso places his trust in God, ellipsis, he is not deceived, to continue. And God is mighty, wise. And if thou couldst see when the angels take those who are indifferent to warning, striking their faces and their backs, and taste the punishment of the consuming fire because of what your hand sent before you, and because God is not unjust to the servants, like the case of the house of Firaun and those who were before them, they denied the proofs of God, so God seized them for their transgressions. God is strong, severe in retribution, because God does not change the grace he bestows upon people until they change what is in their souls, and because God is hearing, knowing. Like the case of the house of Firaun and those who were before them, they repudiated the proofs of their Lord. So we destroyed them for their transgressions and drowned the house of Firaun. And all were wrongdoers. The worst of beasts in the sight of God are those who are indifferent to warning. They do not believe those who from whom thou takest a pledge, then they declare null their pledge every time, and they are not in prudent fear. And if thou gain ascendancy over them in war, put thou fear by them into those behind them, that they might take heed. And if thou fear treachery from a people, then reject thou them likewise. God loves not the treacherous. And let not those who are indifferent to warning think they have won. They cannot escape. 
and prepare for them what you are able of forces and of cavalry to terrify thereby the enemy of God and your enemy and others besides them whom you know not. God knows them and whatever you spend for the cause of God will be repaid to you in full and you will not be wronged. And if they incline to peace, then incline thou to it, and place thou thy trust in God. He is the hearing, the knowing. And if they intend to deceive thee, then sufficient for thee is God. He it is who strengthens thee and the believers with his help, and he united their hearts. If thou hadst spent what is in the earth altogether, thou couldst not have united their hearts. But God united them. He is mighty, wise. O prophet, God is sufficient for thee and those who follow thee among the believers. O prophet, rouse thou the believers to fight. If there be of you twenty patient, they will defeat two hundred, and if there be of you a hundred, they will defeat a thousand of those who are indifferent to warning. Because they are a people who understand not, now has God relieved you, and he knows there is weakness in you. So if there be of you a hundred patient, they shall defeat two hundred, and if there be of you a thousand, they shall defeat two thousand by God's leave, and God is with the patient. It is not for a prophet to have captives until he has mastery in the land. You desire the goods of this world, and God desires the hereafter, and God is mighty, wise. Had it not been for a decree from God which had gone before, a tremendous punishment would have touched you for what you took. So eat of what you took in spoil as lawful and good, and be in prudent fear of God. God is forgiving, merciful. O prophet, say thou to those captives who are in your hands, If God knows any good in your hearts, he will give you better than what has been taken from you, and he will forgive you. And God is forgiving, merciful. And if they wish to betray thee, they had betrayed God before, and he placed them in subjection, and God is knowing, wise. Those who heed warning, and emigrate, and strive with their property and their lives for the cause of God, and those who give shelter and help, these are allies one of another. And those who heed warning but have not emigrated, you are not required to protect them from anything until they emigrate. And if they seek help from you within the doctrine, you are required to help, save against a people between whom and you is an agreement. And God sees what you do, and those who are indifferent to warning are allies of one another. Save you do it, there will be means of denial in the land and great corruption. And those who heed warning and emigrate and strive for the cause of God and those who give shelter and help, these are the believers in truth. They have pardon and a noble provision. And those who heed warning thereafter and emigrate and strive beside you, they are of you. But those possessed of kinship are closer to one another in the law of God. God knows all things. Chapter 9 An acquittal from God and his messenger to those with whom you made a pledge among the idolaters. Travel in the land four moons and know that you cannot escape God and that God will humiliate those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue and a proclamation from God and his messenger to mankind on the day of the great pilgrimage. 
God is free of the idolaters, as is his messenger. And if you repent, it is better for you. And if you turn away, know that you cannot escape God. And bear thou tidings to those who are indifferent to warning of a painful punishment. Save the idolaters with whom you made a pledge, then are not deficient towards you in anything, and help not any one against you. Fulfill to them your pledge to its term. God loves those of prudent fear. And when the inviolable moons have passed, kill the idolaters wherever you find them, and seize them, and restrain them, and lie in wait for them at every place of ambush. And if they repent, and uphold the duty, and give the purity, let them go their way. God is forgiving, merciful. And if one of the idolaters seeks thy protection, grant thou him protection until he hears the word of God. Then convey thou him to his place of security, because they are a people who know not. How can there be for the idolaters a pledge with God and his messenger, save those with whom you made a pledge at the inviolable place of worship? So long as they are upright with you, be upright with them. God loves those of prudent fear. How, when if they get the better of you, they regard neither pact nor obligation to protect. They please you with their mouths, but their hearts refuse. And most of them are wantonly perfidious. They sell the proofs of God for a cheap price and forsake his way. Evil is what they do. And they regard towards a believer neither pact nor obligation to protect. And these are the transgressors. But if they repent and uphold the duty and give the purity, they are your brethren in doctrine. And we set out and detail the proofs for people who know. And if they renege on their oaths after their pledge and revile your doctrine, fight the leaders of denial. They have no oaths that they might desist. Will you not fight a people who broke their oaths and purposed to expel the messenger and began against you first? Do you fear them? Then God has more right that you should fear him if you be believers. Fight them. God will punish them at your hands and humiliate them and help you against them and heal the breasts of a people who believe and remove the wrath of their hearts. And God relents towards whom he wills and God is knowing wise. If you think that you will be left when God knows not those who strive among you and have taken besides God and his messenger and the believers no confidant, ellipsis, then you are mistaken to continue. And God is aware of what you do. It is not for the idolaters to inhabit the places of worship of God, bearing witness against themselves to denial. These their works are vain, and in the fire do they abide eternally. He but inhabits the places of worship of God, who believes in God and the last day, and upholds the duty, and gives the purity, and fears not save God. And it may be that these are among the rightly guided. Have you made the giving of water to the pilgrim and the visit to the inviolable place of worship like him who believes in God and the last day and strives for the cause of God? They are not equal with God and God guides not the wrongdoing people. Those who heed warning and emigrate and strive for the cause of God with their wealth and their lives are of more tremendous degree before God, and these are the triumphant. Their Lord gives them glad tidings of mercy and acceptance from him, and they have gardens therein of enduring bliss, they abiding eternally therein forever. 
with God is a tremendous reward. O you who heed warning, take not your fathers and your brethren as allies if they prefer denial to faith. And whoso among you takes them as allies, these are the wrongdoers. Say thou, if your fathers and your sons and your brethren and your wives and your kindred and the wealth you have acquired and trade wherein you fear a decline and dwellings with which you are pleased be dearer to you than God and his messenger and striving in his way, then wait until God brings his command and God guides not the wantonly perfidious people. God has helped you in many places, and on the day of Hunain, when you were impressed at your multitude, it availed you nothing, and the earth became straitened for you, vast as it was. Then you turned and fled. Then sent God his tranquillity upon his messenger and upon the believers, and sent down forces you did not see, and punished those who are indifferent to warning. But that is the reward of those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue. Then does God relent after that, towards whom he wills, and God is forgiving, merciful. O you who heed warning, those who ascribe a partnership are unclean, so approach not the inviolable place of worship after this their year. And if you fear poverty, God will enrich you out of his bounty if he should will. God is knowing, wise. Fight those who believe not in God or the last day, and make not unlawful what God and his messenger have made unlawful, and adhere not to the doctrine of truth among those in possession of the law, until they make reparation under supervision when they are brought low. And the rabbinic Jews say, O Zair is the Son of God, and the Nazarenes say, the Anointed One is the Son of God. That is the speech of their mouths. They imitate the speech of those who were indifferent to warning before. God damns them. How are they deluded? They take their rabbis and their religious scholars as lords rather than God, and the Anointed One, Son of Mariam, and they are not commanded save to serve one God. There is no God save he. Glory be unto him above that to which they ascribe a partnership, wishing to extinguish the light of God with their mouths. And God refuses, save that he perfect his light, though those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue be averse. He it is who sent his messenger with the guidance and the doctrine of truth that he might make it manifest over every doctrine, though the idolaters be averse. O you who heed warning, many among the rabbis and the religious scholars consume the wealth of men in vanity and forsake the path of God, and those who amass gold and silver and spend it not for the cause of God, give thou them tidings of a painful punishment. The day it will be heated in the fire of hell, then therewith will be branded their foreheads and their sides and their backs. This is what you amassed for your souls. Taste what you amassed. The count of moons is with God. Twelve moons were in the law of God the day he created the heavens and the earth. From it are four inviolable, that is the right doctrine. So wrong not your souls concerning them, and fight the idolaters altogether as they fight you altogether, and know that God is with those of prudent fear. Postponement is but an increase in denial, whereby those who are indifferent to warning are led astray. 
they make it lawful one year and make it unlawful another year, that the count might agree with what God made unlawful. So they make lawful what God made unlawful. Made fair to them is the evil of their deeds, and God guides not the people who spurn guidance while claiming virtue. O oh, you who heed warning, what ails you that when it is said to you, Go forth for the cause of God, you cling to the earth? Are you content with the life of this world over the hereafter? But the enjoyment of the life of this world in the hereafter is only small. Save you go forth, he will punish you with a painful punishment, and he will replace you with a people other than you, and you cannot harm him at all. And God is powerful over all things. Save you help him. And God helped him when those who are indifferent to warning expelled him, the second of two, when they were in the cave, when he said to his companion, Grieve thou not, God is with us. Then God sent down his tranquillity upon him, and strengthened him with forces you did not see, and made the word of those who are indifferent to warning the lowest. And the word of God, it is the uppermost, and God is mighty wise. Go forth, light or heavy, and strive with your wealth and your lives for the cause of God. That is best for you, if you would know. Had it been good nearby and a short journey, they would have followed thee, but far for them was the destination. And they will swear by God, had we been able, we would have set out with you. They destroy their souls, and God knows that they are liars. God pardon thee. Why grantest thou them leave, until it be made clear to thee who speaks the truth, and thou knowest the liars? No leave do those who believe in God and the last day ask of thee from striving with their wealth and their lives, and God knows those of prudent fear. They but ask leave of thee those who believe not in God and the last day and whose hearts doubt, so they in their doubt are wavering. And had they wished to go forth, they would have fully prepared for it. But God was averse to their being sent forth, and held them back, and it was said, Sit with those that sit. Had they gone forth among you, they would have increased you only in confusion, and been active in your midst, seeking means of denial for you and among you are eager listeners to them, and God knows the wrongdoers. They sought the means of denial before, and overturned matters for thee, until the truth came, and the command of God was made manifest when they were averse. And among them is he who says, Grant thou me leave, and subject thou me not to means of denial, save into the means of denial have they fallen, and hell encompasses those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue. If good befalls you, it vexes them, but if misfortune befalls you, they say, we took our command before, and they turn away exulting. Say thou, nothing befalls us save what God decrees for us, he is our benefactor, and in God let the believers place their trust. Say thou, do you await for us save one of two good things? And we await for you, that God will afflict you with a punishment from him or at our hands. So wait, we are with you, waiting. Say thou, Spend willingly or unwillingly, it will not be accepted from you. You are wantonly perfidious people, and there prevents their expenditures from being accepted from them, only that they deny God and his messenger, and come not to the duty save as idlers, and spend not save unwillingly. So let not their wealth or their children impress thee. God but intends to punish them thereby, 
in the life of this world, and that their souls should depart while they are spurners of guidance, while claiming virtue. And they swear by God that they are of you, and they are not of you, but they are a people who cause division. Had they found a refuge or caves or a place to enter, they would turn towards it. And they are capricious, and among them is he who speaks ill of thee concerning charity. If they be given thereof, they are satisfied, but if they be not given thereof, then are they angry. And had they been satisfied with what God and his messenger gave them, and said, God suffices us, God will give us of his bounty, as will his messenger, to God do we turn in hope, ellipsis, it would have been better for them to continue. Charity is but for the poor and the needy and the workers with it, and those whose hearts are to be reconciled, and for slaves and debtors, and for the cause of God and the wayfarer, as an obligation from God, and God is knowing wise. And among them are those who hinder the prophet, and they say, He is an ear. Say thou, An ear of good for you. He believes in God, and he believes the believers, and a mercy for those among you who heed warning. And those who hinder the messenger of God, for them is a painful punishment. They swear by God to you to please you, when God and his messenger, more right is it that they should please him, if they be believers. Know they not that whoso works against God and his messenger, for him is the fire of hell wherein he abides eternally. That is the tremendous abasement. The waverers fear lest a sura come down against them, proclaiming what is in their hearts. Say thou, you may mock, God will bring forth what you fear. And if thou ask them, they will say, we did but jest and make fun. Say thou, was it at God and his proofs and his messenger that you did mock? Make no excuses, you have denied after your faith. If we pardon a number of you, a number of you will we punish because they were evil doers. The wavering men and the wavering women are alike. They enjoin perversity, and they forbid what is fitting, and they close their hands. They have forgotten God, so he has forgotten them. The waverers, they are the wantonly perfidious. And God has promised the wavering men, and the wavering women, and the atheists, the fire of hell, they abiding eternally therein. It is their reckoning, and God has cursed them, and they have a lasting punishment. Like those before you, stronger than you in might, and greater in wealth and children, they enjoyed their lot, and you enjoy your lot as they enjoyed their lot who were before you, and you jest like those who jested. These. Their works are vain in this world and the hereafter, and these are the losers. Has not the report of those before them reached them, the people of Nuh and Ad and Thamud and the people of Ibrahim and the people of Madian and the cities thrown down? Their messengers came to them with clear evidence and God wronged them not, but they wronged their souls. And the believing men and believing women are allies of one another. They enjoin what is fitting, and forbid perversity, and uphold the duty, and give the purity, and obey God and his messenger. These, God will have mercy on them. God is mighty, wise. And God has promised the believing men and the believing women gardens.
beneath which rivers flow, they abiding eternally therein, and goodly dwellings in gardens of perpetual abode, and acceptance from God is greater, that is the tremendous achievement. O Prophet, Strive thou against the atheists and the waverers, and be thou harsh with them, and their habitation is hell, and evil is the journey's end. They swear by God, they did not say when they have said the word of denial, and denied after their submission. And they purposed what they have not reached, and they resented only that God and his messenger enriched them of his bounty. Then if they repent, it will be better for them, and if they turn away, God will punish them with a painful punishment in this world and the hereafter, and they will not have in the earth any ally or helper. And among them is he who made a pledge to God. If he gives us of his bounty, we will give charity and be of the righteous. Then when he gave them of his bounty, they withheld it and turned away, and they were disinclined. And he requited them with wavering in their hearts to the day they meet him, because they broke to God what they promised him, and because they lied. Know they not that God knows their secrets and their confidential conversation, and that God is the knower of the unseen realms? Those who speak ill of those who willingly give in charity among the believers, and of those who find not to give save their endeavours, and deride them, God derides them, and they have a painful punishment. Ask thou forgiveness for them, or ask thou not forgiveness for them? Ellipsis. It will make no difference. To continue. If thou ask forgiveness for them seventy times, God will not forgive them, because they denied God and his messenger. And God guides not the wantonly perfidious people. Those who were left behind exalted at their remaining behind the messenger of God, and disliked to strive with their wealth and their lives for the cause of God. And they said, Go not forth in the heat, say thou. The fire of hell is more intense in heat. Would that they understood. Then let them laugh a little, and weep much, as reward for what they earned. And if God brings thee back to a number of them, and they ask of thee leave to go forth, say thou, You shall not go forth with me ever, nor fight with me an enemy. You were pleased to sit the first time, so sit with those who remain. And perform thou not the duty for any among them that dies ever, nor stand thou over his grave. They denied God and his messenger, and died while they were wantonly perfidious. And let not their wealth or their children impress thee. God but intends to punish them thereby in this world, and that their souls should depart while they are spurners of guidance, while claiming virtue. And when a surah is sent down to believe in God and strive alongside his messenger, the opulent among them ask leave of thee and say, Leave thou us to be with those who sit. They are content to be with those who remain, and their hearts are sealed, so they understand not. But the messenger, and those who believe with him, strive with their wealth and their lives, and these have the good things, and these are the successful. God has prepared for them gardens beneath which rivers flow, they abiding eternally therein, that is the tremendous achievement. And there came those with excuses among the Arabs that leave be given them, and there sat those who lied to God and his messenger. A painful punishment will befall those of them who are indifferent to warning. Not upon the weak nor the sick, 
nor those who find not what to spend is their blame, when they are true to God and his messenger. Against the doers of good there is no path, and God is forgiving, merciful. Nor against those to whom when they came to thee that thou provide the mounts, thou saidst, I cannot find whereon to mount you, they turned back, their eyes overflowing with tears of grief, that they found not what to spend.